गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन यस गुड मॉर्निंग मैम सो so let me introduce first of all myself i am uh, sunita cs joint director working at uh, cdac kochi office and my colleagues are also been joined over here from uh, cdac tiruvanthapuram as well as from cdac kochi so i suggest from the first or the for the for the first introduction or first introductory session itself you build a habit of uh, switching on your videos because all the training sessions at Tiruvanthapuram as well as Kochi is going to happen in online mode only. So this will be a rule for us. First of all, uh, I am starting with the rule itself. Okay. So please uh, switch on your videos, everyone. Very happy to see you, Akshay, Amit, Shubham. So, because why we are uh, insisting on keeping the videos on is like you yourself will be self-disciplined in front of the video. Like we and uh, from our end, we will have a uh, confirmation that you are in front of the system attending the session. Okay, because this is an online session and you are going to be attending this session from a very remote place where we don't have any control at all. So I think most of you would have uh, received my messages in Telegram or LinkedIn or somewhere around. So maybe uh, Suraja is also there, Jairam is also there, Abhijit, Rupa, uh, Saumya, and some of our uh, uh, Current students are also joining this meeting to uh, just give you some guidance. So let me start with a presentation about our center, basically. So I hope my screen is visible to all of you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so basically, we uh, uh, the staff from Kochi as well as Tirbantarpuram Center have joined this session because uh, basically we are one center only uh, and we are located in different locations of uh, Kerala. So first of all, let me have a warm welcome for all the candidates aspirants of uh, 2023 September PG Diploma courses from the CDAC end. So about CDAC, when we talk about CDAC, uh, maybe you know, like um, most of you may be knowing about CDAC, like it's a national center of excellence in information technologies and electronics. And this is under Ministry of uh, Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. And this is a premier r and organization. And uh, about CDAC, when we talk about CDAC centers, uh, the different centers are located in 12 different locations and uh, 16 centers are there and uh, more than 3000 like 3000 plus employees are working on uh, the end to end solutions from a range of enabling technologies of various customer requirements on behalf mm -hmm. from the multiple locations and thematic r and d areas where cdac is uh, working on like we are talking about all the cdacs like high performance computing multilingual computing professional electronics including vlsi and embedded systems then we have software technologies including force and uh, cyber security and forensics, health informatics, etc., are the main thematic areas of uh, CDAC which we are working on. In addition to that, we have an education and training uh, sections also with all the C most of the CDAC uh, centers associated with that, where CDAC activities uh, uh, on the thematic areas of uh, training are being going on by the education and training uh, departments of the or sections of the CDAC center. And basically, when we talk about coming to CDAC Tiruvanthapuram, uh, so Kochi is actually a satellite unit of uh, Tiruvanthapuram. So you can see the Tiruvanthapuram center. We had multiple centers in Tiruvanthapuram. Like, for example, we have started, like uh, CDAC was not started as CDAC initially in Tiruvanthapuram. 
it was an, uh, named as Keltron, uh, which is under Kerala state uh, government uh, for the uplifting of electronics. So this was been uh, established in 1974, much much before CDAC itself is, was been uh, born earlier. So this uh, Keltron was been the initial uh, parent organization. And after that, in 1988, uh, we have uh, come into or we have been changed to ERNDCI uh, as Electronic Research and Development Center of India, which was under the government of India. And in 2002, when many many of the uh, societies joined together, we just came into uh, joined or merged with CDAC, and hence it was been named as CDAC Tiruvanthapuram. And 800 plus staff members are working with uh, CDAC Tiruvanthapuram as well as Kochi, because Kochi is, as I told you, it's a satellite center of CDAC Tiruvanthapuram. So we are all uh, employees of CDAC Tiruvanthapuram itself. So this is the Keltron. Uh, first one is the Keltron building of uh, CDAC. Still, it is managed and maintained. And it is working as a separate organization under government of Kerala. And CIDAC uh, Tiruvanthapuram main office is the second one. CIDAC uh, uh, office at the Techno Park in Tiruvanthapuram is the third building. And the fourth one is the uh, Kochi office of uh, CIDAC. And coming to our department, like Software Training and Development Center, which stands for STDC. Like your course will be handled by this STDC only. So coming to this, as the name indicates, uh, we are giving training as well as developing the softwares under this particular unit. So the training activities under STDC are mainly we are into AX programs like PG Diploma courses, where uh, PG DAC has been conducted at, in Tiruvanthapuram as well as Kochi, where other two courses like PG DCSF and PG uh, DBDA is being conducted only in Tiruvanthapuram. So in Tiruvanthapuram, there are three courses running like PG DAC, PG DCSF, and PG DBTA. And in Kochi, we are having PG DAC only. And uh, these are the uh, main acts programs which have been running in STDC Kochi and Tiruvanthapuram. Then uh, we are uh, all also conducting some regular diploma courses, three months diploma courses, one month short term courses, etc. And in each of the center, in both of our centers and conducting the courses on corporate levels also. For example, some companies may come with uh, their requirements on uh, high level professional training or maybe a very low training like MS office or something. We are conducting uh, those types of corporate courses, which are tailor made courses for the uh, organizations. Then we are, we are uh, also conducting courses through our uh, authorized computer education training centers, which are ACT, AC, ETS. So these are also been conducting different types of courses like PG diploma courses, diploma courses, and short-term courses through ACTC centers also. And uh, Kochi, we are conducting, uh, we have been uh, doing some development activities also. We have already done uh, some uh, couple of co projects like uh, warehousing management solution for Kerala State Warehousing Corporation, then log logistics management solution for Indian Navy, then academic management solution for National University of uh, Advanced Legal Studies or NUALS. Then uh, currently, uh, so these projects are already been com closed and completed. And currently we are doing some virtual reality or virtual reality uh, assisted labs for Samagrik Shiksha, which is under the government of Kerala coming under the education uh, wing of this. And training programs, as you as I have already told, PGDAC, DCSF, DBDA are been running as AX courses. Then our local courses like Diploma on Web Technologies, Embedded System and IoT, Cybersecurity and Forensics. Then short-term courses like Advanced Java Technologies, .NET Technologies, Java and Android programs. All these programs are running in our center as short-term courses, in addition to the ACT courses. And that's all about our uh, centers, both the centers. So let me uh, just... Uh, uh, request Mr. Jairam to present about something about the DCSF course. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, am I audible? Yes, Jairam. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Just a minute.
Good morning, all. No good sound morning. from you? Yeah, good morning, good morning. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, I am course coordinator uh, for uh, PGDCS, uh, Diploma in Cyber Security and Forensics. So this is the online program. And we started this program uh, in uh, September 22. And uh, currently, March 23 batch uh, came to end end of the sessions, and they are going to appear for the final exams. So this uh, Trivandrum CDAC is pioneer in uh, cyber security and forensics area. So for the past 12 years, we are uh, doing research in uh, forensics and security. So many uh, things we have established in Trivandrum. Uh, for example, SOC. Security Operations Center uh, we have established here, and the National Forensics uh, Related Labs we have established here. So uh, Trivandrum is a pioneer in uh, cyber security and forensics. So based on this base, we have started, uh, we have designed and started uh, this course, DCSF, uh, from CDAC Trivandrum. So this course is offered only at CDAC Trivandrum as of now. So, uh, so this is the online mm -hmm. program. So you might got details uh, from uh, CDEC site also about this. So we have uh, very good uh, students in uh, March 23 batch also. They studied, they had completed uh, uh, sessions. And in September 22 batch, uh, very good placements are there. So I will I will explain about that okay, slowly. So first I would like to give you a few insights about uh, uh, technical things, uh, what we are providing. Uh, in uh, DCSF course because so many students uh, are uh, sending messages to me in uh, Telegram and uh, uh, LinkedIn also like uh, just to know about uh, what we are offering in in uh, uh, technical content what type of technical content we are offering in this course so here uh, if you see these are the various models we are providing so Linux and Windows Server Administration Network Essentials Python Programming aptitude and effective communication and project. So the left side are uh, uh, one type of uh, modules. Right side, if you see, these are the core modules, ethical hacking, pen testing and incident response, cyber forensics, secure, secure programming, and the security operations and management. So right side, what are I uh, provided are very core modules. Mostly you are going to get the placements in these core areas. Why? Because already we have a good experience from September 22 batch. We got good placements and most of the people, most of the students are placed in last model as security operations and management, SOC model. Only IBM itself took around 16 people from the same batch. IBM company itself took 16 people from same batch and most of them are working in this area, security operations and management. Along with that, so many other uh, other people are working in security analyst side, forensic side, and pen testing, VAPT side, so uh, few, few students are working. So remember that this right side modules are very core modules. So while you are joining into the join into the course, you must need to put your concentration on all these modules. Okay, so network and Linux, Python, all these things will, will be the base for all these uh, advanced modules. Right side, what are provided for all these modules? The left side modules are the base. You must be ready. So uh, some of the students are asked me in uh, Telegram also. So what we need to start? So you can start with a uh, base HTML and uh, uh, HTML. Uh, with HTML, you can try to start and learn few things about network essentials, which are very easy for you to understand. Then you can try to jump to ethical hacking, start with ethical hacking, if you have the time before joining the course. Anyhow, in the week zero also, we are going to provide the classes uh, with the specific topics. So just to push you uh, into the uh, path, so how the actual classes are going on, week zero will be helpful to you very much. Okay, so try to join after joining the course, try to join in the week zero courses also. Time to time we'll be updating to you. So these are the various models, technical models you are providing. If you see last two in the left side, aptitude and effective communication and project. So uh, this aptitude and effective communication is very, very uh, important one, which is the uh, first stage for you while you are operating for the CCP. 
so without communication good communication even though you get 90% in uh, final exams or anywhere you are not going to achieve anything if your effective if your communication is not effective so we are uh, uh, molding the students uh, with respect to communication also this is a non technical model okay aptitude is another model which is very essential okay so the first this is the first um, first uh, base for, which is required for you to appear before ccpp technical tests most of the companies will put the aptitude tests if you clear that then only mm -hmm. you are going to uh, attain you are going to appear for the next rounds of the ccpp that means placement program so don't take uh, about very uh, linearly, linearly about this aptitude and effective communication these are very important okay so this is outline of the models about the dcsf and uh, uh, about the companies okay so most of you are having interest uh, in this area right so why you are joining for the course is that oh, main target is your placements so with respect to this these are the statistics of uh, september 22 hope i am audible to you right i am audible to you right yeah 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 okay, yes, okay. right 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 okay yes, so uh, so these are the various companies visited in september 22 batch for dcsl okay for dcs so most of the company like ibm itself will took uh, took uh, 16 people from the same batch like that deloitte axis bank dutch bank aks it services most of them are this dutch bank uh, uh, is uh, located in pune and uh, ibm uh, placed most of the students in uh, mumbai and uh, most of the companies are uh, in and around uh, mumbai okay so at trivandrum noida also had recruited some of the uh, students and uh, almost uh, those who got recruited uh, in this area are placed in core core working area okay so uh, analysis uh, security analyst as a security analyst or vapt uh, like the security auditing side okay so in that core areas uh, they place the students so ibm this is a, um, uh, one of the thing i need to mention here ibm took 16 people in the same batch and uh, even they didn't given any training directly they posted uh, students in the uh, uh, work location so that much confidence they got from our students so it was uh, happened only because of they were trained in a better manner from said activity they have good knowledge so along with our training capability students also have, have good capability and they studied well actually so if you are not studying well whatever you are teaching uh, it not be effective actually right okay so from your side also efforts are required and along with that Uh, our training capabilities will add to that okay so and then next part is the uh, placement side so in this year this is of september 22 batch uh, we we have achieved till now around 86 about 86% and uh, still the process is going on so only few people are left and uh, definitely we will push them so this is uh, at this point i need to give you uh, insights we are not going to leave even a single person okay so till all the everybody get placement we will support we will support definitely there is assurance we are planning okay and the highest package we got is 15.6 lakhs per annum and lowest we got somewhere around 3 about 3 3 or 3.2 somewhere like that so this is from dutch bank 15.6 is from dutch bank okay so these are the various placement statistics with respect to dcsf so definitely this is the core area actually this is is a very uh, interesting area and also so much gap is there in the industry so what are the uh, manpower required in the industry is not available nowadays so if you are uh, 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 planning to improve your knowledge and if you are planning to build your career in this uh, security area definitely there are uh, so many opportunities definitely i am sure about that okay so these are few points about the dcs okay we can we can we can address your query slowly one by one uh, let all the other uh, presentations co complete yes ma'am thank you ma'am to jaram for the good elaboration of dcs so basically there are some chats coming in the chat window so i believe we can start with the two session 
Like you Any have more camera? doubts? Yeah. Priyanshu, your network, I believe some issues are there with you. Your voice is breaking. Okay, let me let me uh, start with some of the questions in the chat. Okay, so the first question was from. Otherwise, Sita. let them to, uh, ma'am, let them to speak. Otherwise, let them to uh, switch on the video and let them to speak. I think that is better. Yeah, okay. Somebody's name is Devil. I think. I, uh, what is your actual name? Uh, yeah, please uh, switch on the video and speak. Uh, speak here. Ask your doubt. That could be better, I think. Yeah, please go ahead. Basically, let me tell you, this is going to be like for both of our centers are conducting the, all the courses on online only. So if you are uh, hiding your face and hiding your voice from us, you will be struggling a lot. You have to uh, be clarified with each and every day's uh, doubts on the same day, same time itself. Otherwise, the next topic will be confusing. Yeah, I believe some people have raised the hand. Vipin, I believe he is a current student of this. Yeah, current, current student. Vipin is current student. Yeah. Kunal, Kunal, go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, sir, uh, can you elaborate the... Uh, my name is Kunal. So, sir, I want to... Uh, uh, admission in a DCSF. So, can you elaborate the uh, different scope? May, may, means future scope of DCSF. Then uh, we will take the admission for uh, DCSF. Yeah, that all I told you already. That uh, so we have a lot of gap uh, in the requirements of uh, industry. Industry requires so many people, but uh, still uh, they train people in security area are very less. Even uh, in newspapers also, you got uh, the, the same message uh, in uh, one one month back, I think. So definitely there is a more scope in this area. Uh, so you don't need to worry about that. So, but uh, most efforts, more efforts are required from the students, those who are coming to join. That's what I told you. And you, from your side, you need to work hard and communication must be very essential. And aptitude also, you must be ready. So definitely there is a scope. So bringing companies and everything we'll be doing from our side. And the industry also positive in the security area, definitely. Okay, and sir, uh, what about the uh, remaining 16% students? So, didn't uh, place in uh, companies? Uh, can yeah, the right? process is going on. Process is going on. Definitely, I told you, that is the point I told you. Okay. Even uh, up to placing last student, we are not going to leave anybody. Right. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Here we have uh, from Trivedra, we have three co courses DAC, DBDA, and DCSF. Okay, and from Kochi, we have DAC. Okay, you can go ahead with asking any queries related to all these courses offered from Trivedra and Kochi Center. No, no doubts. Okay, instead of uh, instead of typing, please go ahead in asking. Then that could be. We are very happy to speak with you. Mm -hmm. So I would like to answer one question which has been there in the chat because I promise him to we'll discuss that. Okay. So it was from Srikant again. Like, hello, ma'am. What is the last batch placement, September 2022 batch? Because I heard from a lot of students, they say a lot of partiality there. No place for other institutes, only for Ghargar and Juhu student. They didn't get a sufficient call, not even five calls. Is that true? I think Sharon uh, is I the am. best person who can answer this because he is the placement coordinator of our center. He has been there in uh, Mumbai till a couple of days. Yeah, actually, uh, till uh, last uh, Friday, I was there in Mumbai, and uh, Saturday only I came. Hello, am I audible now? Yes, Sharon. Yeah, okay. So Saturday only I uh, came here in Toronto. So first of all, I need to. Uh, I uh, explain just uh, the what is the actually scenario of these placements. Uh, for after completing the course, you need to be there in Mumbai for two months. So you need to find out some uh, place to stay in Mumbai. You need to be physically there in Mumbai. And uh, we have a group of 10 people uh, uh, led by Mr. Davinder Singh and Pooja Maga. 
uh, both having more than 25 years of experience in campus placements. So they have so many contacts and see that Mumbai is also have so many names. So the companies will come to us and in that uh, two months, many companies will come actually. Uh, and uh, they also have some expectation from the CEDAC students because CEDAC is very famous in already too. CEDAC is very famous in uh, IT sector. So definitely companies will come. And uh, first of all, they will do the aptitude test. So in the uh, last scenario, I found that many of the students are actually failing in aptitude test. Uh, and may, I mean, uh, and there won't be any discrimination between the students from Kharjo Jhu and students from uh, Tuvanra. That uh, there won't be any discrimination at there. Actually, we present all the students as with that Mumbai students only with the companies because even the companies uh, also don't know whether the student is from Kharjo or whether the student is from Kochi or not. Uh, that kind of details we never share with the companies. We share only your academic details and uh, your address and uh, yeah that is the only details we share and your yeah, email id is all. so companies uh, know uh, only these details about you and with that details the companies will make a short list because we have so many students about uh, thousand plus students we have so definitely the companies will make a short list of that and uh, they will do the aptitude test for um, short uh, as a first step so we uh, found that many of the students are failing in that attitude. So that's why, uh, you know, uh, first of all, the company for the campus placements, the companies won't come to take uh, one or two uh, candidates only because they need to pick at least 10 candidates from a big pool. So uh, they are coming uh, to pick more students. And that's why they are been conducting this. Uh, they have a separate uh, steps are there. And uh, uh, when if we if they have uh, ten requirements, they will do. They will show this fifty people, and they will do the aptitude test. But it's sad thing that sometimes, sometimes many students uh, won't uh, succeed in that aptitude test, and uh, uh, some companies will uh, go back actually. But many companies will. Uh, do the recruitment also uh, because uh, actually this happens with the shortlisting criteria and all. Uh, but still, uh, we have actually 115 companies uh, last time uh, came for the campus placement, and uh, 90 companies came for that course, 35 companies came for DBDA, and 17 companies came for DCC. Right? So, this is the this is the uh, criteria of the uh, last. This is the currently running uh, campus placement program. Yeah, and uh, 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 what you need to make sure that you need to be present physically in Mumbai for at least two months, and uh, be ready for that also when you are joining our business. And we are. Yeah, I just wanted uh, yeah. to add one. Yeah, I just wanted to add one more one one or two comments on that. So he was actually asking about the uh, partiality anyway, Sharon has already yeah. been explained. And the second concern was some of the students didn't get um, not even five calls. Okay, so for example, uh, as in the social media, uh, they are telling like the people, uh, the company, some of, many of the companies are coming with some predefined criteria. That is, that is for sure. So we cannot uh, like hide your predefined criteria for example your score or your uh, passing out year or percentage all those things we cannot hide from the company so in the predefined criteria itself if you are not uh, qualified for that we cannot do anything on that so at least five calls so there are people who have got there are no people who have got less than five calls uh, in none of the centers and i believe if you have uh, made your life bit so hard working during this particular course, you would surely get uh, placed in the five calls itself. And many of the students are self-placed also. So let me share my screen, uh, giving some idea about that. I think uh, uh, you may require that, okay. So I believe my screen is visible to you. So this it's was actually, yeah, this was actually, we have uh, made this uh, for, uh, 
presente. So basically about Kochi, uh, as we told, okay, these are, we have already discussed, like we are a satellite unit and uh, please don't draw. Okay. So we are a satellite center and the SIDAC Thiruvankapuram and we started functioning in 1999 in Kochi and uh, started training. Uh, actually in Kochi, we started a unit just to spread the uh, training and software development activities towards middle and northern side of Kerala. So please, those who are drawing please make a drawing in your paper so that at the end of the meeting we will ask you to present that kudos to the artist okay but don't draw randomly on the screen please so we started as DAC course in uh, initial days in 2000 where uh, only a few centers of CDAC were conducting DAC course at that time at that time it was not PG DAC it was diploma in advanced computing and we were conducting that course from 2000 onwards in Kochi uh, around 100 plus students in physical mode were running till 2005 in Kochi. And after that, we just posed for some projects and all. And yeah. we started, uh, we resumed conducting P, uh, the same course from 2018, where it came to be PG Diploma in Advanced Computing. So uh, whatever you are uh, interested in, the statistics and the placement, we are coming. So in March 2022 batch, we had 60 candidates out of which 49 were qualified for placement. So CCPP stands for CDAC Common Placement Program. So uh, 11 people were failed in the common course end exam. So they were not qualified. And in September 22, we had 89 candidates and all the 89 were qualified for the placement. And in March 23, currently we have 82 candidates uh, preparing for their CCE common course and exam, CDA course and exam. So this is our current statistics for the last three batches and the placement which you are uh, mostly waiting for. Uh, September 22, we had 25% only uh, till, till date, but currently placement is also going on till August 30, I believe the placement will be there. So out of which you just see 12% is only through the CCPP and 12.5 more than the CCPP the people were able to get off-campus recruitments. So that means we are making you enabled to get a, uh, get a placement by your own. But in addition, you are getting some facility through the CCPP also. Okay. Otherwise, if you are from mechanical, electrical, or electronics background, you don't have a, a, a probability of getting into IT industry at all. So if you're doing this course, you, you will get placed either through the placement program by CDAC or by the self-efforts also. So in March 2022, you can see it's a 67 percentage where 57 percentage through the CCPP and 10 percentage through off-campus by themselves. And in September 21, uh, till September 21, we had a golden era in uh, placements where 98, 97, 99, and even 100 percent placement we, we achieved before that. Uh, September 2021 20, batch and before batches of that batch, uh, prior batches of that batch, we had 90, 95 plus uh, percentage of placement for sure. And this uh, from March 2022 onwards only, we had a declined uh, graph on our placement statistics. But basically, currently, if we are looking into this batch students, I think many of them much more would have been placed rather than 67 percentage because right now uh, we are not keeping track of uh, that things because they are all doing their off campus placements right now. And in March 2023, candidates right now are undergoing the final stages of grooming for the CCE and for the CCPP or for that batch will start in the second week of September. And our placement region for Kochi as well as Tirvantapuram, it was Bangalore region till September 2021 batch. And from March 2022 batch, we have been shifted to Mumbai region for our placement because of our mentorship. So our, both of our centers are being mentored by Dr. C.P. Johnson, sir. And hence we are being moving to, we have moved to Mumbai region for the placement. And the last package or the last year's last batches package till date uh, was highest package was 10 LPA and lowest package was 3.5 LPA and average of 5.2 we were able to manage. And these are the people who are being uh, placed from Kochi uh, in the September 22 batch. And this is March 22 batch. And this is September 2021 batch. 
and there are many companies who have been uh, uh, coming to these particular placement activities and that just very few regarding the faculty uh, you can see like most of the fa faculties have uh, been uh, present over here they are all more than 10 years of experience either uh, both in training as well as software development so that they can guide you and train you in a better format then you have a personal accessibility to the faculties either through the whatsapp group uh, personal contact like call, uh, telephone calling or uh, chatting through whatsapp or any any personal contacts is also been maintained and here what we are doing is we are giving theory sessions and lab sessions which have been su expert subject expert led led at one so it is not like you are being connected to the meeting and you have been set as free no our faculty member will be there taking the theory session and in the lab session there will be faculty as a, uh, faculty members to assist you throughout your lab sessions and we have online assisted lab sessions going on so that is why we recommend everyone to switch on the video so that you be, will be understanding like okay you are doing the things you are attending the things you are listening to the things that is why we are doing that so if you are having this habit of hiding behind the screens or your dp or your uh, alphabet of your names uh, in ccpp also the hidden hidden face will be there that's it so we are doing some soft skill development trainings also for example communication we are giving some training communication a madam is there who is very 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 supportive to the students and uh, if you are cooperating with the uh, classes your communication will drastically improve that's for sure and similarly for aptitude also we are having sessions for aptitude and if you are making use of all these sessions you will be surely been improved a lot and extracurricular activities, we may have something uh, in between. Like, as you know, the uh, course is completely thickly packed. But in between, we are able to manage some hours for your relaxation. Maybe maybe in between your theory sessions, 10 minutes will be given. Okay, whoever are good in singing uh, or whatever, whatever ability you have, there will be some 10 or 5 minutes will be given for that. And maybe your batch is coming uh, in a New Year celebration uh, period. So we, we may have some New Year celebration activities also where you can uh, exhibit your extracurricular activities. And there will be best student uh, male award and female awards from uh, the center, as well as the rank certificate will be given for the first three positions. So these are all about the things. I hope your placement uh, questions and other questions are being solved. And I have one question now. Yeah, please. Uh, I'm actually, uh, it's related to coming to Mumbai for placements. Ma'am, uh, uh, I have actually asked the same to Jairam sir also. So, uh, Mumbai being a costly city, so just uh, staying Vipin around. Vipin like, Vipin Vipin first, you can introduce yourself so that others yeah. will come to know sorry, about you. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I am Vipin Khanna and uh, in the DCSF, uh, that is Diploma in System, Diploma in uh, uh, this uh, uh, Cyber Security and Forensics. So uh, currently. March, I'm, March 22, uh, March 23 batch. Yeah, yeah, in the current batch and preparing for the exam. So uh, as uh, in the second week, we have to reach Mumbai. So can we actually be, uh, be shifting ourselves into Pune or a place? which is less costly or economical and uh, just uh, arrive in Mumbai for the interview day only. Is that yeah, possible? That is possible. Uh, yeah, that is possible for the current uh, batch. Also, some of the students are staying like that. Yeah. But the thing is like you have to ensure uh, your I mean, timely presence over there during the selection time. Uh, actually, I would not recommend it. Daily traveling from Mumbai to Pune, the traffic is also very heavy. So, it may not make it on time also. You are starting from Pune and the placement process is mostly start by over 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. So it can be difficult considering the traffic in Mumbai. Yeah, sir, that is right, sir. Uh, if you think is that uh, if we plan it in a such a way that a late night train yes. to Mumbai uh, would be reaching around 6 or 7 o'clock uh, Mumbai early morning. So that, that is that possible. Can, yeah. But uh, you can also uh, combine with your friends and stay in a PG. So that the cost may come down. 
yeah yeah we can come one day before uh, that way we need to just plan our day in, in such a manner and okay. after the interview and uh, yes uh, like so that uh, uh, we it will not be very costly as mumbai is a very costly place yeah i think uh, dcs companies were not there on day all the day basis isn't it jaira yes ma'am uh, we can say you can say like that ma'am actually yes sir we can't say like that uh, the, we can expect on first day also uh, because uh, we think i told you already right uh, so uh, that we can take up and uh, from your side you must need to be ensure yourself that when of the company is coming you must be you, you you must be in a position to attend that if you can ensure you can stay anywhere that's not a matter for the cdi sure sir and uh, if you are losing a, if you are losing any company at that time nobody can help you so yeah, because uh, this time what happened is initial days at least for the initial one one and a half months if you are uh, staying in mumbai that will be better because initial days uh, like three four companies minimum will be coming in a day so in that case it will be better to be there in mumbai for the first at least for one and a half months and afterwards maybe uh, dcsf is not having daily daily companies coming means you can shift to a, a cheaper a cheaper area maybe in pune or somewhere around and you can travel uh, back and forth uh, whenever companies are being scheduled for you but it is your sure. responsibility to be there on time sure. and take sure. the take the selection process vipin ji yes sir yeah actually first of all uh, you uh, actually there will be navi mumbai you are you from uh, which place actually uh, delhi i am from okay, delhi fine. okay fine. Then, uh, yeah there will be there will be yeah there will be place called uh, navi mumbai in that place you can get uh, get cheaper uh, residences or rooms and uh, pg is also available and uh, may, maybe you can uh, be uh, stay with a group of friends also and uh, from there uh, you need to travel for one hour daily for uh, getting into the placement area actually uh, that's also cheap actually uh, food is also cheaper there so mumbai won't be considered as a <laughs> cozy city actually so sure, you should, sir. yeah you should try yeah. for navi mumbai okay yeah sure uh, climatic condition also sir mean mumbai is less suitable climatically na uh, i have been in mumbai work there but yes i work in pune also in hsbc bank so climate i mean Uh, obviously the first priority is placement so as okay. uh, i will yeah, basically we been i'll i'll just add one thing you can stay anywhere <laughs> only thing <laughs> from yeah. our rent is our yeah. rent is be there present for the uh, yes, selection sure. time that's yes. it so you can you can choose your place of uh, staying or anything okay sure, sure. Ma'am, I, i will definitely yeah. look for navi mumbai yeah that's uh, okay because nobody will be asking you where you are staying or anything because they will be asking if he, in case some companies are asking means they will ask only for the play, uh, permanent address yes. uh, not yeah. for the current address so uh, it doesn't matter for uh, the thing like you can decide where you want to uh, yeah. be yeah but, but but from cdx side we are uh, yeah we just want to, to ensure stay. we just want to ensure like you present you be present for the uh, selection criteria on time that's it and we are no, one, trying uh, to one, insist even we are yeah. trying to insist from cdx side that you must be there in mumbai at any cost That is from Good. that is stand from CDX side. Okay. Because the process sure, will start from uh, morning uh, nine to between nine and ten. So we can give opportunity. We can give we can uh, give opportunity to newcomers. I think. Uh, let us clarify the doubts. I think. Right? No, no, uh, sir. One last question. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay. okay. Uh, sir, uh, the thing is that I have asked. Uh, there was a, there was some, uh, there was a address by director, sir. uh whereby he he was detailing about uh, what all possible uh, avenues are opening up when you join cdi so i asked him a question about uh, joining the the uh, the cdi and uh, related uh, some mission related projects mission projects from the government of india so he he told me that uh, he will will be taking it up uh, later so is that uh, possible for ma'am or anybody to address it or should, how should i look at it yeah 
okay so no uh, that uh, generally uh, time to time project to project basis uh, we'll try to do the recruitments right so just i shown you the companies uh, cdec preventive and uh, noida also recruited uh, students from the september 22 batch right so uh, whenever uh, we get the uh, requirement you will get the opportunity i will repeat once okay. again whenever we, we have the requirement you will get the opportunity right so that is a criteria even from a cdac side or in a private companies side whenever we have a requirement you will get the opportunity so definitely we can expect much thing uh, for your batch also sure thank you yeah. thank you okay all the best vipin yeah Thank you. So Vipin, I have Vipin, a question Vipin, from Vipin. Vipin is one of the uh, very good active person in the March batch actually. <laughs> okay, I have a question from Shub asking about uh, which percentage criteria is considered for CDAC? All four years CGPA or last two sem CGPA? So Vipin, in your uh, degree certificate, what is your CGPA that is being considered? Actually, basically, this is uh, varying from university to university. So in your uh, mark list, what is your CGPA? That is being considered by CEDAC. Okay. Even for placement also, that is being considered. And Shub again is asking what should be the formula for converting CGPA to percentage. That also is being given in your mark sheet or your certificate on other side of the mark sheet or other side of your certificate will be there. Or otherwise, it will be there in your university site. Because it is it in back side. Back side. Yeah, it may be on the back side of your certificate or, or your mark sheet. Okay. Priyanshu was asking about IBM took 2022 September batch. Yes, this is DCSF was the first batch. So they took uh, from the first batch itself. And now 16, currently 16 March, people they took. I told yeah, you already. March 2023 is the second batch. And your, your batch going to be the third batch. So how did IBM offer? Actually, basically, we are not supposed to uh, publish the packages offered by different companies. We are just uh, allowed to tell you about the maximum package and minimum package, not uh, allowed to discuss with the uh, company-wise packages. Okay. So, yes, also so what, are the pack what, are the what are the initial package it is? That brand will give you more package afterwards. <laughs> Definitely. Hmm? Okay. Ma'am, can you please explain the loan process? So many students are asking about loan. Yeah, basically uh, for this particular course, the initial uh, first installment, that is uh, 10,000 plus the tax amount has to be paid from your end because at that moment also your site is not confirmed with any of the center. Only after the second allotment, you can uh, like confirm like this particular center is being allotted to you. So the first installment anyway, you have to pay from your hand. And after once you confirm your study center, you will get a loan letter from your CDAC login portal itself. So that loan, that loan letter plus a letter from the center you can take to give it to the banks. And there are a lot of banks which gives uh, loans to CDAC courses. So once the particular amount, uh, that is actually the loan letter is also consist consisting the cost of the laptop and other things also. It's not only the cost of the fee, uh, only the, um, not the amount of the fee, but it consists amo the amount of the laptop and other expenses you may en uh, encounter during the course. Actually, basically, we don't require anything else from other than your fee amount from for the CDAC thing. Uh, the other things are for if you don't have a laptop or if you don't have an internet facility for doing an online course, all, all those things are being included in the loan letter so that you can apply for loan to the banks and it can be, it, it will be availed to you. And some banks will be uh, like dispersing the amount only to the CDAC account. But once you have paid the fee from your rent, we will refund the fee which the bank is being uh, sending to our account on your request letter. So that is the process how the loan processing is happening and these have been happening for the last so many batches also. So if you have any, if you are encountering any issues with the loan processing or anything, once the center is being confirmed at your end, you may please uh, like uh, communicate to the coordinators. So for example, uh, PG DAC in Tiruvanthapuram, the coordinator is Suraja. PG DBDA uh, in Tiruvanthapuram, the coordinator is Rupa. 
PG DCSF, the coordinator is Jairam. And PG DAC in Kochi, I am the coordinator, Sunita. Okay, is that being cleared about loan? Asif, you were talking something to us or your voice was not clear? Hello, ma'am. My name is uh, Shubham. Yes, Shubham. Uh, I want to ask, uh, does gap year matters in DCSF? Because uh, I have five years of gap and I'm from electronics uh, background. Basically, I cannot okay, say I will, gap doesn't matter. I will address. Yeah, yes. Jeff. Okay, yeah, Shubham. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So, uh, mainly in uh, September, as per I am speaking based on statistics of September batch, okay? So, mostly, okay, generally, generally, in uh, September 22 batch, even uh, those who are having uh, somewhere around six years gap also, they got placed. They got placed. They studied well during the course course and they practiced well in all the labs and everything. They performed well in the company. Who have six years gap in that batch got placed in the first call itself. First call. Sometimes, generally, as compared to two years gap students, you may get less number of chances. That is open secret. That is sure. But what are the opportunities you are getting? If you are able to make it in that opportunity, yeah, you are in. Otherwise, you are out. Okay. But number of chances may be come down as compared to less gap students. Okay, sir. Hope I, hope I have addressed your concern, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. So one more question. Uh, before joining the course, uh, what, uh, what, what, uh, what type of preparation must be done? Like uh, you have said HTML or uh, basic? Yes, because yes. I'm, just, uh, just, I'm from, you can, uh, just you can brush up your, uh, if you know already, you can brush up like HTML network related basic things if you complete it within a few days go ahead with ethical hacking basics ethical hacking okay. basics okay, it will give you just starting to the course and anyhow we are uh, giving you good knowledge in the course okay sir okay. thank you so much yeah so let me take a message from the chat given by srikant partiality only placement for ghar ghar juhu. Don't waste your time and money. Okay, so I just wanted to take this chat because let me ask you, where are you getting placed? Are you getting placed in Sida, ghar ghar or juhu? So that they show you the partiality of taking only students from ghar ghar or juhu. You are going to play, be placed in MNCs and private, uh, private or government institutions other than CDAC as well as in CDAC. So will the company allow any type of this partiality being like, okay, for example, as uh, Jerem was telling, IBM came for the recruitment. So whether IBM will allow, the, allow any candidate to be absorbed only because he had learned in Kharger? No, no. You have to use your brain, okay? So don't just follow any comment which is coming in the social media. You have to use your brain. And basically, I'll tell you why you are thinking about the partiality. Right now, why you are here joining in this meeting or why the people are asking in the social media, like, well, uh, my rank is so-and-so. Which center I should choose? You don't have a self-driven uh, aim in your side? So basically, CDAC has given you an opportunity to select your own choices, not to take any choice from an unknown person from the uh, social media. So this particular thing, partiality-wise, I am telling, for example, I am telling you, uh, in the social media itself, you are getting some rank, cutoff things, talks in the social media itself. So I, obviously, I agree with that up to 20% plus and minus deviations are still there. But you can take that as a, as a benchmark for your things. So you can see 2,000 or 2,500, more than 2,000 uh, rank values are not been there in Kargar or Juhu. You can see that. And the people are that much good. Like 
technically also good and motivationally also like self motivated also that is why they are getting the things and even now you can see uh, out of the 60 people who have joined here how many of you are having the uh, guts to keep your videos on only shubham i am seeing him from uh, the start of the uh, meeting till now no other people yeah now rishi has come up shubham has come up so this is where you have to develop your site for example all the six months if you hide your face from the teachers and if you're not interacting with the teachers just saying some uh, partiality telling something like it is too much uh, like a too much occupied course yes it is you can see the syllabus everything and this will be finished the complete course including the project will be finished in six months so you can see you can know like whatever you are learning all through the four years of your uh, like uh, uh, btech or be more than that on the practical side you are going to learn from this particular course so in that uh, in that case you have to take the course as a do or die option otherwise there is no point in telling like partiality and all the third third party company never look into the center who which from which you are coming they are looking to the stuff you are having whether it is helpful for them to grow the business grow their organization that's the only thing which the companies are looking into they are not bothered about whether you are from burger juhu vita or even sunbe it's purely depending on your performance so even that is this for example i'm telling you the th things happening over here this is for the initial interaction qa session you don't know us we don't know you but you are reluctant in keeping your videos on so first of all <clears throat> shikant whoever who are whoever you are i just ask you to show your face and tell me the comment orally not being typed over there in the chat i i took this particular comment obviously because i am seeing the similar types of comments in the social media also but think of something where the company is from out company is an outsider they are not interested in the internal politics of cdac but they want the best employees to be hired so you what you have to do is don't look into the politics but you have to concentrate on your studies that is what we just suggest you to do if you are able to do that for the next 6 months you will surely get the highest package don't look into the lowest package or average package but you aim to for the highest package and you work for that and all our supports will be there for sure because we are been handling these courses for more than a decade so that assurance i can give from my end but the thing is like what you have to give back that you have to give a promise and keep the word for the next six months otherwise this partiality uh, no companies research and all those types of excuses will arise during the placement and whoever are uh, handling or are facing the placement right now they even if right now they understand okay if i would have worked more when the company when the courses are been going on i would have been placed there is no point in understanding in a later realization so be proactive and be yeah yes then can i add it to you add, add to you yeah uh, sure we been because you you are already been uh, towards the end of your course and you know how much uh, like how much you are learning in a single day and how you are applying all those things in a single day you can guide them sure sure ma'am actually uh, this is my second course in cdac uh, i am in the middle ages around 46 and uh, I did uh, the first course from CDAC in 2004, Diploma in Systems and Database Administration, which actually gave me a foothold in the IT industry. And uh, that uh, actually, although didn't give me any kind of place to stand, but I, it gave me the confidence to, to show my abilities of the systems and the database. So those who are actually looking for only placement should go back to the time when I <laughs> joined CDAC just for gaining knowledge. So they are lucky enough to get placed and uh, uh, think about the in re return of value, ROI, at current time. Uh, and our time when we were actually 
looking for one one opening just we were not i re, i recall i had one interview but i i fumbled because some of i was not up to the mark that to be very honest and frank but yes uh, our times were very difficult and uh, the the current uh, very confident uh, generation needs to understand that if the times are good they also need to just push their them and uh, be ready for the very normal challenges the challenges uh, in the early part of 2000 or 2010 i had around four career breaks so uh, if they have to handle such a scenario where will they land up so that is where i feel they should be thinking on those terms that they are getting a good foothold with the placement so rather than packages and all yeah so they should be rather keen on learning because at the end of the day nobody is going to give you the package if you are not capable enough to get uh, get it thank you vipin thank you so mr devil has asked means we don't have to take cdac you cannot take a decision on that by yourself <laughs> devil has been asking whether he want to take a course or cdac or not that is up to you that is up to you we are not forcing anyone to join with cdac only if you are interested only if you are uh, uh, like ready to work hard for at least 16 hours a day for the next 6 months omitting all your festivals all your family uh, functions everything roaming around everything then only join for cdac that is my suggestion okay but i don't i don't want a, uh, like uh, the youngsters being not able to take a decision by their own so don't uh, go for the public opinion for this whether i want to join cdac or not that you have to take the thing okay then there is a sheetha who's asking yeah ma'am there is a message in the chat that someone is asking about lab session actually yes, they are okay. telling that it is just a time pass in the lab if, there is just yeah, a time if, pass if you are taking it as a time pass uh, the la- uh, s- s- placement time will not be will not pass that's it that's what my re- my reply to you because if it was it being a physical batch we have great handhold on your performance because you are with us we are able to see what program you are doing what is your doubt what is your error all those things will be able to find it physically but in an online mode only option is like i can ta- call out some names and ask them to share the screen okay but suppose for example over here some 60 people are been uh, there and i don't know about majority of the people whether they are they are there in front of the system or not because they are not sitting on their videos so that is the first challenge which the teacher is having because we cannot assure whether the student is in front of the system because he is attending the meeting but i don't know whether he is in front of the system we used to like each of the faculty i used to teach for this uh, dac course so like a couple of modules are been taught and the ma- uh, lab also been handled by me so during those session what we are doing is we call out by name so suppose for example i am right now lokesh please switch on your video what will lokesh do depends on this whether it is a time pass or it is a serious matter comes in lokesh didn't turn up right similar things i cannot go and grab a person who is sitting in mumbai or sitting in somewhere else and bring him to the class that is why in every media every every group every social media i used to put like the only difference in offline and online is like in offline course the staff will make you disciplined and in online mode you should be self disciplined that is the only difference the teacher whenever the lab is there for in kochi and tiruvanthapuram we used to conduct the lab into uh, from 2 pm to 6 pm all these four hours with half an hour break in between all these four hours the lab faculty is available and connected to the meeting it is up to you who is spending this money who is spending this time expecting for a better placement better future has to take this lab session as a time pass or as a hard work session we cannot do anything on that hello ma'am 
Yes. Hello. Oh, Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Of course. Good job, Doctor. Ma'am, uh, my name is Purushottam. I have two to three question. That is one fir first question is I have my rank is two five two seven rank. Uh, can I get the admission in DCSF? My first question. The second question is um, means uh, how the class is getting conducted. That is the second question. And third question is uh, the same as like Shubham. The five years gap is there for mine too. He, uh, means how can we approach that gap? Means how can we justify that gap? That is important or not? We are because we are preparing for the uh, civil services exam. Is it possible to justify that gap? Okay. Basically, regarding your first question, according to the rank, ba based on last last batch, uh, you are sure to get the thing. But we don't know about this time because uh, uh, so many people have uh, put their first choice as DCSF. Because seeing the placement, uh, uh, like placement is the highest for BC, DCSO for all India level CDAC courses. So uh, I cannot assure you, but you can put it as your first choice if you are interested in the DCSF area, um, cybersecurity area. Okay. And the second okay. question is like uh, how the classes will going on. That will, Jairam will tell about that. And the third one, as you said, like the five years gap, anyway, that has happened. You cannot go and rectify that. And if you have a better option currently, as I am uh, replying to some people in the chat, if you have a better option currently with you, go with that. Because we cannot assure you like the gap doesn't matter at all. It does matter, but may, the extent of how the effect is coming, we cannot predict. But No, ma'am. Yeah. That is not much question, Miss. I am uh, giving my totally 100% to the placement and we cannot blame you that you haven't given me the placement because I have the five-year five gap. My just question is that, can I justify that gap? Because they will ask me the question that, uh, why are you, what is you are doing in the last five years? So can I justify with my answer? That is the course, my question. If you're preparing for some civil service or something, you can say like, my dream was that and I tried for that. And basically, after this much time, I just wanted to earn my life. So I just went back to somewhere where I can get a job. Okay, that, then that is my question only. Yeah, that you, you. you. How you are answering matters. You should not say like, okay, I went for uh, this particular one. And after three, four years, yeah. I realized that I couldn't get that. Then I thought of something else. Don't tell that. Tell it in a positive way. Like, okay, I wanted to earn my life. So I changed my mind. Yes, everything when you respond, yeah, everything when you respond, it should be in a positive manner. Yes, yes, surely. Thank and you. Jeram, you can tell about how the classes are going on to him. Yeah, so as it is an online program now, so uh, DAC and uh, as like DAC and DBDA, so uh, you must be ready with your laptop with good configuration, and uh, labs also will be uh, will be guiding with the local virtual machines in your system. All the software required uh, will be giving you the links uh, to download. You will install in your systems, okay? Mostly in uh, VMs, okay? Uh, most some some of the softwares are uh, uh, from uh, Trivandrum in forensic area and all. In security side, uh, most of the tools are open source. So don't worry about the labs. We'll be completely guiding the step by step. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. As we are uh, interacting currently, the similarly the sessions will go on. We, the teacher will be uh, sharing the screen, uh, presenting the PPTs, uh, explaining the things, showing the things, uh, uh, the labs online as the, uh, after sharing the screen. So you'll be able to see that and parallelly you'll be able to follow that. Take, take My first suggestion is whichever center you are taking admission, please build a habit of taking daily notes. Because otherwise, at the end of the day, you will be ha not having anything at all. So take a class note during the class time itself so that you, you have your own written, handwritten notes with you, which will be easy for you for the preparation of the exams and referring the daily things. Uh, hi, ma'am. Uh, my name is Shubham. I'm from Pune. Huh. Uh, I have one question uh, regarding the placements. Uh, when... Uh, during the placement in Mumbai, uh, there is any kind of support provided by a uh, center for staying in Mumbai or something like that? No, regarding stay, we are not giving any support. 
ஒர்க்ஸ்ட்ரீங்ஸ்மெண்ட் members will also be there uh, for some some time with you during the placement that's it other than that uh, we cannot give any anything okay if you get some numbers then it will be very easy yeah, for surely, us yeah surely surely you will be getting connected finding with a the pg senior. it's very time sure sure. sure sure we'll get you connected with the alumni of our centers no issues okay. at all okay thank you ma'am another question is there hello ha prishot ha prishot ma'am what is about module wise exam is there also online or we have to go to the mumbai for that also no mod- end module exam is completely online we'll have some daily mcqs then uh, like uh, end module exam practical exam viva everything online for the complete course you don't have to travel anywhere sit somewhere with uh, good uh, uninterrupted power supply uninterrupted uh, internet and prescribed laptop configurations it's all all these things are given in your admission booklet what laptop you require and what is the configuration required what are the different softwares required everything is there in the uh, admission booklet so only thing required is you have to sit and study there wherever you are and at the end of the course there is a ccee that is course end exam coming so that you can opt a center which is okay. near to your place as you have taken your ccat so for that also oh you don't God. have to come to the study center at all and once the cc okay. is over your project will be there once the project is also over then only and once you passed out then only your ccpp comes so only for the ccpp you have to travel to mumbai and be there in mumbai other than that in kochi or tiruvanthapuram no need to come unless okay. you want to see us all in person okay 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 and we will be call- we will be calling you for a convocation so for that whoever are interested can come and visit us that's all yes. there is no come surely surely uh, hello ma'am yes rishi my name is rishikesh i have question about uh, counsel- third counseling round can i change my preference list in third counseling round yeah actually i'll tell you there are two counseling uh, happening that is which is known as choice filling so right now it is your first choice filling happening for which two rounds of allocation will happen so suppose for example right now you had uh, listed some 20 centers and out of that based on your rank if you have been allocated to some of the center in the first allocation that is not your final one unless that is your first choice okay if it is not your first choice in the second allocation there can be a change also okay so in the second allocation whatever center you are getting is the final center for you if it is allocated if you are not allocated then you go for the second counseling okay so in the second counseling you can select another set of centers it's not the first center which you are going to allocate only for the second counseling whichever centers are been there with uh, some seats been vacant only for that particular thing you can uh, opt for that centers and third allocation happens from that particular second counseling clear okay once the third allocation is also done if there are some centers left out with uh, some seats and all it will go for the open day so there is the fourth one known as open day so that will be very few seats very few seats which are available in some of the centers will be there for the open day so for that also you can if you are not allotted in the third round also you can go for the open day where some very few centers very few seats will be available over there very few, few courses so altogether there will be three confirmed uh, allocations based on the first counseling and the second counseling okay but suppose if you are happy with the second allocation center and all you can take that particular center and go off with that you don't have to go for the second counseling at all this is the process okay thank you ma'am okay
So, Mr. Debel has another question. Each company take how many students from your institute? So, I'll just type a... Uh, uh, I think Debel has so many questions. Yes. It's better he because, can come... No, because yeah. it's Debel, no. He can ask anything. It's yeah. not name. It's a Debel. He can ask anything. So, just... I'll just give a site address over here. stdc-t.in and you can see the people who are selected in which company all the details are there. It is for Trivandrum as well as for Kochi. Uh, Ma'am, this said Prani Karanskar. Yeah, this is, uh, 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 you can, yeah, it is HTTPS. I have one, yeah. No, no, I have one uh, question about uh, the CDAC DBDA. So huh. is there any uh, presentation uh, in this, uh, about from, uh, for the uh, CDAC DBDA? Rupa? That, uh, Rupa is the coordinator. She will answer you. Mute. Yeah, yes, Pranay. What do you want to know about PGDBDA? Actually, uh, for PGDBDA, uh, of course, I'll talk you about, uh, tell you about the <clears throat> syllabus, actually. We have eight technical modules for DBDA and like for uh, similar for DAC and DCSF, we have the aptitude module and the uh, effective communication module. Hmm? Okay. And uh, uh, this is being, I mean, like like all the other uh, courses, this is also being conducted in online mode. We have in in-house faculties, and we also, um, you know, um, uh, hire expert faculties for the modules as well. Okay, so what exactly do you want to know about DBDA? Uh, I want to uh, discuss a problem of the uh, placement uh, and the pl uh, about uh, this only placement. Uh, that means how many of the uh, uh, students are getting placed okay. or uh, uh, and uh, from uh, which year the DBDA is start, start in the uh, yeah month. yeah yeah I'll tell you so PG DBDA uh, was started in September 2022 the first okay. batch has rolled out and uh, you know their placement is still going on now the second batch is preparing for the course and examination which will be conducted next week and uh, the next batch will be the third batch for PGDBD. And I think, Sharon, can you uh, uh, I mean, uh, say something about the placement of DBD? Yeah, 35 companies have visited for DBD, actually. Okay. And, uh, and we have 200 plus candidates for DBD in Mumbai region. And uh, 50 plus students are actually placed. <clears throat> okay, sir. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> so Shubham has asked as a non-IT fresher 2022 pass out, which should be the preference preferred course, DAC or DBDA, considering for placement. <laughs> So better, I just suggest you to go through the syllabus of both the courses because these two courses are of the two different kinds. One is a full stack development and the other is a data analytics uh, analytics uh, type of course. So better you uh, go through the syllabus and find an interest in which course you have and go accordingly. Don't just think about placement or anything. You just have to work on your interest also. Because basically what I feel is like most of the people are when joining for the course, they may thinking about only the package and the placement things. But you should have an interest also. If you're not having an interest, it will be something like a compulsion. For the next six months, you are working on somebody else's compulsion. But if you work with your own complete mindfulness, it will be the result will be doubled. That is what I believe. So you, it's better you choose your, if you're good, like if you're assessing your C programming skills are good, like programming side, you are good. You can go for any of these courses, DAC and DBDA. Or if you're seeing like, okay, I'm not at all good in programming, then don't choose these, these things because both the courses is, uh, require programming. And can Trivandrum faculty help in projects? Some people saying they say yes or no only. Why? Who, who, is that? To it. who is that same people? Uh, who is that some know. people? <laughs> so I have replied to it. Projects actually, th that is the main point of uh, point, gateways for placement, no? Of so course. we just provide them guidance only. If they are expecting us to do the projects, that never happens. Yeah, 
we will not give a single line of code but we are uh, if you are into trouble like into some errors or anything we will uh, uh, direct you how to get out of that and how to move along that's all because after studying this much of modules if we are supposed to give you the uh, code then why are you learning then how will you get placed because the people the company will have a coding round for you that you have to do so that all depends on how you take your daily lab assignments daily lab times and other things and how do you you do your project also what is your contribution in the project also so all these depends on uh, like directly uh, matters on your placement time so electrical electronics background basically i'll say like uh, csit people are very less for these courses even for the last so many years we are seeing very less number of csit people over here in this course and also i'll tell you don't think like they are all superior to you they haven't learned any of these technologies of course they are better in algorithms or uh, logical thinking they may be better if mm -hmm. they have done their btech uh, very seriously mm -hmm. otherwise they are not better than you okay mm -hmm. these technologies which you are learning in these courses are not learned during their uh, graduation so don't think like i am inferior to csit people but of course for the placement if some companies are telling no mechanical no electrical means you will not be considered but that is not the case with all the companies that's the only place where you will be differentiated otherwise after pg tech everyone is equal hello ma'am yes pratap uh in uh, kochi pg tech uh, how many minimum calls uh, give the student uh, of uh, non it background uh, because of you can you cannot guarantee the placement uh, you 100% of placement but you uh, guaranteed the minimum calls to the student minimum calls uh, anyway in in the current batch there are people who are not uh, having like there are not no such people who are uh, got lesser than 3 calls 3 is the minimum one and that for non it not non it i am not considering it non it because after the thing uh, it's not non it it obviously the okay. cs people will be having more calls of, of course cs it people will be having more calls uh, but there are people who has got uh, three calls four calls as well as five calls minimum the three calls i am yeah maximum uh, around 20 23 calls are been there yeah. okay. five plus should be the minimum yeah five plus yes exactly three was actually uh, uh, like a couple of weeks back yes sharon may be knowing more than that yeah five plus at least five calls you are getting pratap don't worry but for placement you require only one call so aim for that one call itself for the first call itself getting placed it's not easy don't think like okay in this meeting you are energized so you are saying like okay i'll concentrate for the placement but all through this five months five to six months you should be having the same consistency of working as well as the same positive thinking about your future it's not a one or two days of business and it is not a university type of course where you can study during the study leave and take the paper and get a pass on that it's not like that this is a daily daily work is required for this particular course and how much extra you can put increases your probability as well as package hello ma'am ha uh, then ma'am depend on center specific or depend on last final exam that company sort listed would be like for if someone is Having yeah, Tanmay. Marks. Yeah, basically, Tanmay. It is based on different companies are having different criteria. Some company will give criteria only on pass out year. Some company will give criteria on marks from tenth onwards. Some company will say, okay, no backlogs, no gaps. So the difference. Many companies are coming with different different criteria. So it all depends. We cannot say. I'm, yeah. I'm asking. Suppose that uh, I joined the center. so it's depend on center that center has come many companies or it's depend on cc last exam it's it's no. depending on the region on the placement region so kochi as well as tiruvanthapuram is with mumbai region 
and whatever companies comes in Mumbai region, each of our students are equally eligible. So, ma'am, what is the difference that uh, some center having high placement ratio and some is low? It's depend on skill set. Skill set, practice, consistency, presentation. Even if you know many things, if you are not able to uh, uh, perform well in the interview, it's gone. And the okay. and, uh, luck factor also matters because the depends question their, comes. It depends on their individual performance only. Yes. And basically, you know, like uh, uh, the centers who are having the higher ranks in CC, uh, like CCAT, maybe they are from IT industry or maybe they are good in uh, some, some area already. And they need to work a bit more on, only on this particular during, during the course duration. So they may be performing better. Okay, so in class, I, I in want class, to take admission. Suppose, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, Danmai, in a class itself, suppose if I have 50 students in the same class, why all are not placed? They are getting the same facility, right? They are getting the same teaching. They are getting the same lab time. They are getting the same guidance. Everything same. Why the 50 people are not getting placed? In the same class, same center. Why? Individual performance only. Isn't it? Because out of the 83 people who have been trained in Kochi, why only 20, 21, 23 people are being placed? Why? I hope you, you are getting my point. Because so they got all the things same. Theory sessions same. Lab assistance same. All the material same. All the guidance, everything same. Then why? Basically, I'll tell you, most of the people are... We, we are not allowing any people to communicate in Hindi in our classrooms. Basically, because we want you to... Uh, like develop your english communication skills because in none of the in interviews you cannot you you can not talk with talk in hindi or in your regional languages you have to be professional okay ma'am uh, one thing i want to ask more ma'am uh, what is the difference the major difference uh, offline online classes same thing which i repeated like in offline we will make you streamlined and in online, okay. you have to okay. be self-disciplined. Okay. 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 That's the only thing I just wanted to tell you. Because if I'm taking a class the same manner, which I am talking like hands, gestures and all the same manner, I'll be taking classes. Either it's in online or offline. But online means I am not sure like out of these people, how many are attending. But offline means I can see in front of me how many are attending, how many are sleeping, how many are dreaming, how many are looking into the WhatsApp that all I will be able to see and I can make them streamlined. But in online, you have to be self-disciplined. Matured enough to be self-disciplined because it's already 20 plus. You are all, on, all grown up adults. So think about your future and make your future bright. No, don't go for some uh, like momentary happiness. Your family is spending this much of money and time. So you have to make use of it. Anything else? I have, I have one question. Uh, as for the as for the interview preparation, there is any mock interview uh, taken by the center for uh, yes. better placement of you? Yes. The faculties will be uh, like that is what I was telling. Every module was having uh, um, end module exam, which will be theory as well as a practical session will be there. And for the practical, we conduct a viva, which is similar to a mock interview for that module itself. So every module is having that throughout the course, as well as at the end of, after the CCEE is over, that is the course end exam, which is MCQ only, which will be over during your project. So after the end module exam only, we will be having end course exam, we will be having your project. So during the project time, we will be giving you mock interviews by the faculty, plus your alumni all also will come and join you. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, 
Hello. Yes, Samir. Yeah. Hi. Uh, my question is to Jairam sir regarding cyber security. Yes, Samir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Can you hear me, sir, clearly? Uh, a little bit less yeah, actually. Yeah. Voice is your voice is. Voice is not clear. Now it. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Let us see. Let us see. Please go ahead. Okay. So my question is, yeah, yeah. In worst to worst case scenario, is placement doesn't happen in cyber security. Uh, what are the other ways uh, from getting apart from LinkedIn? How would that student will prepare himself to uh, give the interviews outside? And what can be what what kind of efforts he has to put in? I'm yeah. saying worst case worst scenarios. I know it was a 87 percent of the first batch, irrespective of the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah students. Yeah. Uh, but then in worst two worst case scenarios, uh, what uh, kind of efforts students uh, can put? So like uh, like in cybersecurity domain, there are a lot of certifications required from Compitia or Yes, yes. Uh, IS, 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 how would that help and uh, considering the cost of them or the preparation kind of thing how yes, would that help yeah, just that yeah, the guidance yeah, yeah yeah okay good good nice question and uh, in this one generally while you are going through this pgd csf itself i am encouraging the students to go for certifications in september batch so so many students almost Around 90% students did ISS certifications and all so many other certifications also. The same scenario in March 23 batch also. There they had a prepared, they appear, they're going to appear uh, various uh, certification exams and all. Even in NPTEL also, you have some of the SOYAM, SOYAM portal also, you have some of the courses related to cybersecurity. So definitely the point here is that if you have more certifications, it will be an added advantage to you. When you go out, when you prepare the resume, it will be definitely an added advantage to you. So uh, that is a, one of the points. So certifications is essential for you, uh, along with the CDAC PG DCSF course. And uh, uh, next one is that searching about the uh, like uh, possibilities. So you already given a few things, right? Like Glassdoor, LinkedIn, so many places over there where uh, companies are posting. So just try to explore them, go to their uh, company's website. So most of the uh, emails are available about where you need to contact. Just push your resume to them. So definitely in most of the cases, you will get the reply. In most of the cases, you will get the reply. So try to find out companies, those who are working in cybersecurity core areas so that they you will get more possible things of getting placement okay and uh, and one more to that uh, addition to that apart from cdac would T, uh, tvm i mean companies come to tvm being a so much i mean reputed institute so would uh, local yes yeah, said like vita conduct the local drive for their student placement or something companies come to what I heard from the uh, past students. So that kind of initiative is being, I mean, uh, it's taking by uh, TVM or mm -hmm. it's just the CDAC, uh, whatever, CCPP we have to rely on. Do companies definitely. come to TVM as an individual institute? Yeah, definitely. definitely. That's what I told. Uh, along with CCPP efforts, we are taking uh, so many efforts out of CCPP also. And we are trying to find out more, more and more companies from the Maharashtra region nearer to in and around Mumbai because most of students are uh, joining from Mumbai region. So if I if we found the companies from uh, various other regions like Kochi or TVM and all, it would be much useful for them. So we are, uh, we are concentrating on such type of minor points also. That's what, that's what the point from my side. Hope you got Samir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for yeah. your out of learning. CCPP also. We are basically... trying to find out the companies and assisting the students. That is what the point. Yeah, but basically this localized placement will happen only after the closure of the CCPP. It will not yes, happen yes. during the CCPP. 
okay, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Yeah. During placement, common placement is happening. We will not do center-wise placement. It will be done only after closure of yes, that yes, particular yes. batch is dissipated. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. So, Rajesh, actually, there is no cutoff uh, set from any of the uh, any of the centers as you are talking about. It's basically every center is having a number limited number of seats, and it all depends on how how the people are choosing the center and how they are getting allocated. It basically, we are not setting any cutoff for our center. So last time also, how the cutoffs are being uh, published is like uh, like IT World and other, other people are taking a uh, poll from the uh, candidates who are taken admission in the uh, different centers, say telling their uh, ranks and which polls, which center they have been allocated, they are publishing this. Even we we are not asking any any of our student allocated. You can just interact with our current students. We haven't even asked how much is their CC rank because we are not going to give anything based on that. So basically, the course content they have to learn. Even if they get a rank one or rank ten thousand, we doesn't care about that because this rank is only for the admission. And it will not be useful thereafter. Once you are into some center, this rank is not at all useful. So we are not setting any cutoff for our centers. But Rajesh, you can just take the uh, as a as a particular uh, like what as a reference. You can take the things which have been published in Telegram and all. But it is twenty percent plus or minus difference is there. But you can go with that particular thing which are been uh, circulating throughout Telegram. We don't have uh, any cutoff in our centers. So three-year graduates, read me. You may have to read the admission booklet. Three-year graduates, which are courses are eligible, you have to see the admission booklet. So please read the admission booklet because cultivate a habit of reading the materials. Okay and understand it by your own end because the complete information is in your hands and you are not referring that you are going for the shortcuts. So for this course, no shortcuts are there. So anything more? Hello, ma'am. <clears throat> ah, yes, Patricia. Uh -huh. Ma'am, uh, is there any way to get through the cyber security for government? Means they also require some cyber security expert. Na? So can we join from that also? What do you think? Are you telling course, about the placements course. after? The yes, course? yes. After no, the course, you Miss. Can, you can try from your own end because the companies which is coming for the CCPP, CDAC is bringing. But apparently, yes. you can also try at your own end because there are some uh, government institutions publishing for uh, uh, cyber security officers because uh, yes. it's a mandatory. It's coming as a mandatory thing right right now nowadays. So you can try from your own end. Don't completely depend on CCPP. We don't recommend that. Even at towards the end of the course, we are in, encouraging the people to apply for all the work-ins, everything which is happening in and around them. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you are right. Not just, yeah, that is not just for them to get placed, but to enable them to understand where they stand in the industry. Okay. No, ma'am. That is not my question, Miss. They, uh, Miss, they, yeah, they prefer sure. us. Miss, they prefer us. Miss, they want the uh, CS and IT students. Miss, they will prefer us or not? Miss, we are doing from CDEC. That is, will they prefer that is, us? Yeah, for sure. The will address that question. And okay. accordingly, according to uh, their requirement, they will devise the rules. Okay, so at this point, we cannot say anything. So different yes. companies, for example, if you take NIC, NIC may devise their own rules. Uh, just to go through the site, TCIL, TCIL. Okay, so TCIL. right now, uh, TCIL, right now they have requirements in cyber security domain, especially. They have called uh, so many, they, they have called for so many requirements. Just go through the TCIL. So they have devised, they have devised their own uh, uh, the way, how, how, what type of qualifications they are preferring for each position. 
that will yes. be based on that will be based on the company yes. send off okay but mostly we can expect uh, most of the chances could be there for uh, electronics okay in government side and all uh, we cannot uh, force them to uh, at any cost they have to take like that. but in private sectors and all if you have the knowledge that is enough for them okay but in but we can sector, apply uh, mostly but, mostly if they have if the need but government okay. and all they will devise the uh, rules according to their uh, like plans or something else okay private sector okay. Uh, mostly what i heard is the private sector no not much concerned on qualifications and all if you have the knowledge okay yeah come on work with yes. work with us like that hmm? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah okay thank you there are so many silent attenders nazim you don't have any question sopan Sweta, Nikita. I think many questions are on the chat box. <laughs> yeah. And Devil is giving, Devil is giving all the answers. Also. I think Rashad people's questions also got clarified automatically. I think. <laughs> okay, if nothing, if no questions, we can wind up, ma'am. Just go ahead. Just ask. Yeah, I believe there is no more question coming up. And. Uh, uh, Hope and one thing clear we have yeah. shared one google form if you have any queries you can submit it uh, in that okay uh, Soumya, is there anything which you have we have been discussed in that uh, form from no, that uh, okay i believe all almost all the questions we have discussed from the form also query forms yeah the queries are have shared to jairam sir most of the queries are from dcsf okay yeah, uh, so so, so I'm, Google so I'm Google. just giving my Google. mail ID over here. If anyone wants to know anything more about uh, the things, you can just send me mails. Mail ID is given. It's sunics at sedac.in. And coordinators, you can also say, share your mail ID so that in general or specific to the course, if you want to know anything, I'm you Google can just Google. send I will send that. Yeah, Jaram, actually, Saumya has almost all the questions been discussed prior to this. So we okay. have answered almost all the questions. Okay, okay. Right, 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 right. So I believe no more doubts. So please don't give your yeah, please don't give your own life's key to someone else in the social media. Okay. You drive your car by your own driving space. Take some uh, information from the authorities, not from the unknown people. Because we don't mind in uh, exhibiting our names or our profiles or anything in social media or anywhere, but those who are hidden under the names like whatever over here. Yes, I is. don't want to take yeah, I don't want to take any name. So whatever over here, so don't believe anything coming from any of the disguised persons. Okay. We are not asking anyone to join compulsorily for this, but take your own decisions and go ahead. And if you are taking a positive decision, please stick on to that until you are succeeded. Don't think like, okay, one day I'll, I'll take a break. So the second day also you will have the tendency to break out. So the complete thing will be gone. Okay, then all the very best to all of you who have attended over here. And I think uh, uh, many of the things are being cleared. Uh, Sheetal, basically you are asking about, okay, aptitude test for IT in the experienced person. So basically when you are doing this course and when CDAC is bringing companies, we bring companies for the freshers only. They don't consider the experienced people counting their experience, but they will consider some some time, but not for the companies. Very few companies may consider about the experienced people. And that, that is not confirmed from our end. So anyway, you be re uh, ready. Uh, can I ask you that? Ma'am, so can I ask you that? Yes, yes. yes so actually for aptitude, it is same for everyone. There is no okay. discrimination. So if you have studied aptitude very well, it is not impossible to pack it. But I suggest you should also prepare coding round along with aptitude because some companies may give coding round along with aptitude. And sometimes if you're not prepared, then you may you might tank them. 
So I would suggest you do both side by side. <laughs> Okay then. So one, one, one second. There is one question. Which all topics how we can cover before starting of live classes and how can we complete them? Which course? For which course it is? Is PG, it for DCSF. that? Okay, DCSF. Jerem, you can give an answer. I think already in the starting I had mentioned this one, right? So mm -hmm. uh, try to start with the HTML, okay? And uh, if it is possible, JavaScript also along with that network basics. So if the time permits, you can uh, kick start with the uh, basics of the ethical hacking. So these things will uh, help you to come into the track for the course. The meeting recording will be available in YouTube and the previous uh, batches QI sessions are also there in the YouTube cha channel, which I have just uh, uh, put in the chat box. Uh, one more uh, query, one more query, one year experience in full stack. Uh, Shubh had given one query. Yeah, for those people who have experience, actually, when we share the profiles with the companies, the companies make the shortlist. And in that uh, time, all the details are there in the uh, profile yeah. section. The companies can see it, and if they consider the experience, they will shortlist account to that. I think there is no other questions are coming. So, okay, so regarding alumni, we will get you connected. And in, uh, for example, in uh, Telegram groups and all, so many alumni as well as current students are also available. You can just search for, you can just ask for uh, Trivandrum uh, alumni, Yakwechi alumni over there in the Telegram. They will come up with, come up and guide you. They are all Actually, available. You can also. follow us on LinkedIn also. Yeah, LinkedIn's also in LinkedIn also, it's there. Almost every information is there in LinkedIn. Yes. Just uh, if you get connected with us, almost you will get 100% information. <laughs> okay. Okay, ma'am. So we may give you our LinkedIn profile also for your reference. So you may get connected to the uh, through the LinkedIn also. This is my LinkedIn profile I have where many of the alumni from Kochi as well as Tirvantapuram are there connected with me. You can uh, get connected. So mostly devil, we will be sharing all the recordings in uh, Google Drive. Okay. I believe devil is a name which is apt for DCS, of course. Hmm? <laughs> and I'm quite sure all, that all we'll Jaram, be joining one of our course. Yeah, yeah. You know, as the yeah. name, uh, person in the disguise is apt for DCS, of course. Yeah. That's why he is in disguise. He will be there for one of our courses for sure. Okay, we are waiting for him. But uh, okay, we won't but... be doing ethical hacking. Man. It requires a deep uh, forensics. No, uh, Vipin, Vipin, right now, right now he is devil. After doing DCSF, he will be coming like something like an angel. Okay. <laughs> but we will need all into... forensic. We will need forensic help, ma'am, <laughs> to get to. <told. laughs> okay, then. So jokes apart, I believe this is the right time to close the meeting, and. Uh, 
almost all the doubts have been cleared and all the links are also been shared you can get connected please don't get connected with uh, the name devil and all please uh, uh, connected with yeah. your names only okay I'm because unknown unknown contacts we don't con we don't encourage yes abhijit yeah okay i have shared mine also yeah okay okay then see you all and all the best whichever center you are getting uh, uh, admission or uh, you are taking the admission or not taking the admission all the best for all your life future ahead and thanks a lot for joining with us yeah thank you thank you okay, thank, thank you. you thank you